With the NFL being the cold, hard business that it is, there's bound to be plenty of ugly breakups. Certain players and teams had so many great moments together, but ultimately, things fell apart, feelings were hurt, and everyone was forced to go their separate ways. Over the years, all 32 NFL teams have had a highly publicized ugly breakup with one of their fan favorites. But which breakup especially stood out as the most bitter in your favorite team's history? Well, that's what we're here to uncover. So let's dive right into it. Stripped off his shirt and glove, threw those into the crowd, then ran across the field. Arizona Cardinals, Patrick Peterson. The perennial All-Pro cornerback sought a trade from the Cardinals in the midst of the 2018 season, only to walk back on it and offer an apology. He wound up playing two more seasons in the desert before leaving for the Minnesota Vikings in 2021 free agency. After his Vikings defeated the Cardinals in a 2022 game, Peterson didn't mince words by throwing shade at Kyler Murray, proving that he was never completely over his breakup with the Cards. Atlanta Falcons, Michael Vick. Vic was on a Hall of Fame trajectory with the Falcons until things came crashing down for the number one selection of the 2007 draft. Federal and local authorities discovered that Vic was running an illegal dogfighting ring in Virginia. Vic spent 21 months in prison, and the Falcons had no choice but to cut their franchise star and take his successor, Matt Ryan, in the 08 draft. Baltimore Ravens, Ray Rice. Rice was a three-time Pro Bowler who helped the Ravens to a Super Bowl 47 championship in the 2012 season. His legacy was forever stained in 2014 when video footage showed him viciously assaulting his fiancée during an argument in an elevator. Rice was released by the Ravens before the 2014 season. He begged for another opportunity and later pledged to donate his salary to domestic violence charities, but nobody gave him a chance, and rightfully so. Buffalo Bills Tom Cousineau. The Bills drafted Cousineau with the first overall pick in 1979. However, the two sides couldn't reach a deal, so Cousineau burned the Bills by instead joining Montreal's CFL team. Cousineau later came back to the NFL to play for the Cleveland Browns and San Francisco 49ers, but never the team that drafted him. Carolina Panthers, Steve Smith Sr. The Panthers surprised many when they released their franchise icon and top receiver in Steve Smith Sr. during the 2014 offseason. The perennial pro bowler stated that he was stabbed in the back later that year. Jeez, tell us how you really feel, Steve. Chicago Bears, Jay Cutler. Cutler never seemed to be fully accepted by the Bears fan base, even when they reached the 2010 NFC Championship game. He was consistently a victim of booing from his own fans and was mercilessly released in 2017 following an ugly 2016 campaign. Cincinnati Bengals, Carson Palmer. Palmer indicated to the Bengals that he wanted to retire after the 2010 season, so they wound up selecting future pro bowler Andy Dalton in the second round of the 2011 draft. Palmer was so desperate to leave that he threatened retirement, but the Bengals refused to grant his wish. Finally, he was traded to the Raiders in 2011 after Oakland lost starter QB Jason Campbell for the year due to injury. Cleveland Browns, Baker Mayfield. The Browns brass gave up on Mayfield even though he courageously played through multiple painful injuries in 2021. Mayfield had actually sent out a goodbye message to Cleveland on social media before the team traded for controversial QB Deshaun Watson. Then he got traded to the Carolina Panthers in the 2022 offseason, mercilessly bringing a sour end to this once promising partnership. Dallas Cowboys, Terrell Owens. Owens was a gem of a pickup by the Cowboys in 2006 free agency following his release from the arch-rival Eagles. T.O. tuned in three brilliant seasons and helped Dallas to the postseason in 06 and 07. But after a disappointing 2008 season, Jerry Jones opted to release Owens, who admitted he was blindsided by the move. T.O. claimed that Jones promised him he would stay, and that he believes some people worked together and conspired with Jones to force the Hall of Fame whiteout out of town. Denver Broncos? Brandon Marshall. Marshall and head coach Josh McDaniels got into a disagreement over the treatment of Marshall's hamstring injury in the 2009 season. McDaniels thought Marshall was exaggerating it, and the latter was suspended for the team's final regular season game. Marshall was traded to the Miami Dolphins in the ensuing offseason, as McDaniels had clearly had enough of his antics. Detroit Lions, Calvin Johnson. Megatron played all nine of his NFL seasons with the Lions, but shockingly retired while in his prime at the age of 30 in the 2016 offseason. Johnson later stated that the Lions' constant losing played a major factor in his retirement decision. Since walking away, Johnson has also refused to mend fences with the organization and has declined several public appearances, stating his unhappiness that the Lions made him pay back $1.6 million after his early retirement. Green Bay Packers, Brett Favre. 
Favre retired after the 2007 season, despite leading the Packers to an NFC Championship game appearance. But he made things awkward by suddenly deciding he wanted to continue playing football. The Pack, however, wanted to move forward with Aaron Rodgers. Favre claimed that the Packers rushed him into a decision, and when all was said and done, he was traded to the New York Jets. And of course, Green Bay moved on with A-Rod. Houston Texans, Deshaun Watson. Watson had his best statistical season in 2020, but the mismanagement of the Texans' front office prompted him to request a trade in 2021. The blockbuster trade was stalled because of Watson's lawsuits over allegations of misconduct. As the inevitable trade saga dragged on, Watson's relationship with the fans and organization got even worse. Finally, in the 2022 offseason, the former franchise face was traded to Cleveland in one of the most controversial deals in all of NFL history. Indianapolis Colts, Marshall Falk. Falk surpassed 1,000 yards rushing in four of his five seasons as a Colt. In 1999, Falk and the Colts got involved in a contract dispute that led to the ugly divorce. He was subsequently traded to the St. Louis Rams in a blockbuster deal. The move was a rare win-win for both sides, however, as the Colts drafted another future Hall of Fame running back in Ed Curran James, while Falk went on to win an MVP and a Super Bowl. Jacksonville Jaguars, Jalen Ramsey. The All-Pro corner was one of several big-name players to have an ugly departure from Jacksonville in the Doug Marone, Tom Coughlin era. But Ramsey's certainly stands out from the rest. Ramsey and Marone got into a heated altercation in the Jaguars' Week 2 2019 game against Houston. The Jags made it clear that they had no intention of trading Ramsey, but he was eventually moved to the LA Rams on October 15th. Kansas City Chiefs, Larry Johnson. Johnson was a star running back for the Chiefs in the mid-2000s, but his performance was overshadowed by disturbing off-the-field behavior. And during the 09 season, Johnson dug his own grave when he used a homophobic slur on social media. Chiefs fans even began a petition to have Johnson kicked off the team, and he was released after returning from suspension. Las Vegas Raiders, Marcus Allen the Hall of Fame running back won 1985 MVP honors and a Super Bowl ring with the Raiders. But as his playing career moved along, the relationship with owner Al Davis got worse. Davis once stated that Allen was a cancer to the team. And during an interview with Al Michaels, Allen accused Davis of trying to ruin his career, devaluing him, and preventing him from reaching Canton by not playing him. Allen left the Raiders in 1993, signing with the rival Chiefs. Los Angeles Chargers, Ladanian Tomlinson. The 2006 MVP won two rushing titles and was named to five Pro Bowls during his Hall of Fame career with the Chargers. But his sweet tenure in San Diego ended on an ultra sour note. Tomlinson was booed in the team's shocking 2009 divisional round loss to the New York Jets. LT was released in the 2010 offseason and said he had everything taken away from him in San Diego. LT and then GM AJ Smith traded verbal jabs at one another, with the latter stating that individuals don't win championships. And Tomlinson ended up spending his last two seasons with the Jets. Los Angeles Rams Eric Dickerson. Dickerson's best season came at the Rams, where he played from 1983 to 87. But a lengthy contract dispute, which lasted several years, prompted the Rams to trade him to the Colts in a blockbuster three-team deal that also involved the Bills. Dickerson has not held back in criticizing his old team over the years. He even rejected tickets to the rams bengals Super Bowl 56 contest. Miami Dolphins, Ricky Williams. The 2002 rushing leader was one of football's brightest stars during his tenure in South Beach. But Williams' storied run in Miami was derailed by several suspensions over marijuana issues, including a ban for the entire 2006 season. Williams went on to play in the CFL in 2006 before returning to Miami in 2007, where he remained until 2010. But the damage was done at that point. Williams had already lost the trust of many Miami fans and wasn't exactly the same player after his 06 suspension. Minnesota Vikings, Randy Moss. Moss's relationship with the Vikings got worse and worse as the years passed on. He alleged his obsession with football and only football prompted Minnesota to trade him to the Raiders in 2005. Red McCombs, the Vikings owner at the time of the trade, stated that he dealt Moss because the Hall of Fame wideout, quote, kind of lost his place with our other leaders on the team, end quote. New England Patriots, Lawyer Milloy. In a stunner, Patriots head coach Bill Belichick cut his star safety days before the 2003 season after Milloy refused to take a pay cut. Milloy joined the rival Buffalo Bills, leading them to a week one blowout win over the eventual Super Bowl champs. Milloy later stated he was disgusted with the way Belichick released him, adding that it took a while to fix his relationship with the Patriots. New Orleans Saints, CJ Gardner Johnson. 
We're admittedly nitpicking a bit here because the Saints haven't really had that many ugly breakups. But obviously, the lopsided CJ Gardner Johnson trade to Philly only really happened because of broken trust on both ends. The Saints traded Gardner Johnson in the 2022 offseason after they were unable to reach an extension on a new deal. Considering Nola gave him and a seventh rounder away for only two late round picks, it feels like the Saints brass just couldn't wait to move on from CJ, even if their return was minimal. New York Giants, Tiki Barber. The three-time Pro Bowl running back shocked many when he retired after the 2006 season. Fair or not, it was quite obvious that the Giants management, players, and fans weren't happy that he walked away early while still at his peak. Barber's split was also ugly because he called out Eli Manning's leadership, even calling it comical. Manning got the last laugh when he led the Giants to a Super Bowl 42 victory the year after Barber retired. New York Jets, Le'Veon Bell. Bell's four-year $52.5 million deal he signed with the Jets was a disaster from the get-go. Then head coach Adam Gase was infuriated that the Jets spent so much money on a running back. So you can probably guess why he and Bell never got along. In the midst of a miserable 2020 season, Bell was cut by the Jets. Not long after, he went on a massive Twitter rant where he called out Gase and the organization. Philadelphia Eagles, Terrell Owens. Yep, we have another ugly T.O. breakup on the list. Owens was unhappy with his contract situation in 2005 and sought a new deal. He publicly threw shade at teammate Donovan McNabb and got into a physical altercation with team staffer Hugh Douglas. Owens' behavior became too much and he was suspended for the team's final nine games. T.O. was released and added fuel to the fire by joining the rival Cowboys in free agency. Pittsburgh Steelers, Antonio Brown. Before his disturbing off-the-field behavior escalated and came to light, A.B. was a surefire Hall of Famer. But his incredible success with the Steelers ended in 2018 when Brown got into a heated argument with teammate Ben Roethlisberger in practice, ahead of the club's must-win Week 17 game versus Cincinnati. Brown angrily walked out and never showed up for the team's regular season finale, leading him to getting traded to the Raiders. Of course, it didn't end there for Brown, and he also had ugly exits from the Raiders, Patriots, and Buccaneers. San Francisco 49ers, Joe Montana. Montana won four Super Bowls at the 49ers in the 80s, but an elbow injury kept him sidelined for the entire 1991 season. Steve Young took over as the starter, and the rest is history. Montana was upset and felt unappreciated for his accomplishments with the team, and the 49ers wound up trading him to Kansas City in 1993. To this day, Montana is still somewhat bitter and remains unsure why he didn't finish his career as a 49er. Seattle Seahawks? Richard Sherman. After missing the playoffs in 2017, the Seahawks decided to retool by moving on from several expensive veterans, including their all-pro corner. Sherman joined the rival 49ers in free agency and later blasted the Seahawks, saying they had lost their way. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Keyshawn Johnson. The three-time Pro Bowl wideout won a Super Bowl 37 ring with the Bucs in the 2002 season, but his relationship with John Gruden was never a healthy one. Heated back-and-forth arguments between the two prompted Gruden to suspend Johnson for the last seven games of the disappointing 2003 Bucs season, and Keyshawn was subsequently traded to Dallas. In 2021, Johnson said Gruden was always a fraud and a used car salesman, adding that the Super Bowl team was built by Tony Dungy and Rich McKay. Tennessee Titans, Jarrell Casey. Despite being a five-time Pro Bowl defensive lineman and despite the helping the Titans to the 2019 AFC Championship game, Casey was dealt to the Broncos for the low price of a seventh round pick. A stunned Casey sounded off on the Titans, claiming they discarded him like he was trash. Washington Commanders, Trent Williams. The perennial Pro Bowl offensive lineman needed surgery to remove a brain tumor that Washington medical staff previously told him was nothing to worry about. His trust with the organization was broken from there on out. Williams refused to play for the team again and sat out all of 2019. Finally, he was traded to the 49ers during the 2020 NFL Draft. But which player breakup do you think was the ugliest in NFL history? Join us in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, click in the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.